EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present opening round coverage of the Open Championship. Frank, when you come to the old course at St. Andrews for the Open Championship, you can just about hear the legends whispering to you. So many of the greats have made their mark right here. It's the oldest, it's the best, and it's the one course that everybody, no matter where they're born, wants to play. Every great player has played St. Andrews, and that will be well in advance after our time, Rich. It's just something special. And when you see it and play it, you'll see the reason why. Rhythm, tempo, balance, that golf swing, just perfect. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And he's made the green. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Hoping to drop only one shot, this for bogey. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. A lot of great golf early on. Let's get you out to the action at the fifth. With a key stretch of holes ahead, our featured golfer really has struggled in the early going, Frank. Yeah, a few mistakes out there, unforced errors, you might want to say. Uh, so really, attention to detail should be the concern right now. He'll be happy with that. In the fairway, now a good chance to attack this hole. Frank, he could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. Good-looking shot right here. quite where he wanted it, but it is on the green, and that's not too bad. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. This one's tracking. That is a cross-country putt right there. Up and over the ridge. That's a seagull. 
Now at the sixth, not a particularly long hole, Frank, par four. Yeah, semi-blind tee shot. Um, you've got an idea where you want to hit, but uh, there's a, a series of three bunkers. They're called the coffins down the left side, as well as some pop bunkers down the right. So this requires a very accurate tee shot. Rich, there's such a big advantage. You tee it up on a peg there. It should be an easy shot. But remember, this is the most powerful club in the bag. This is the one that you have to nail out of the middle of club face. Demonstrating there and really all day that he is one of the best drivers of the golf ball in the sport. into the top 20 after an eagle. Now, seventh hole here at the old course, Frank. Ideal line, just hit your tee shot over the March stone. Um, the bunker on the 11th green actually often comes into play, called the shell bunker. So anything a little bit right of that, but very difficult green for the approach shot coming up. Just making it look easy. Picks the spot, sees it, and then hits it. All day long, hasn't missed a fairway. effort at Eagle, and that a good move on the leaderboard. Name up there in bright lights. Interesting to see if that gets a little attention. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard? I, I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly. EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present second round coverage of the Open Championship. Uh, Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. Uh, looks like Rory McIlroy fights stick in the follow through. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. into the mix just when we thought it might be too late. Par fives, this is where players look to make the move in a major championship. How does this fifth hole par five measure up, Frank? Well, if you can avoid the bunkers, um, they're actually left and right, but uh, especially that little group of three bunkers, then it sets up well. It'll be a blind second shot, but you try and guide your second shot between the two bunkers on the hill in front of you, which are called the spectacles. Has it come down yet? Not only is it straight, it's mega long. Second shot.
That's how the best in the world play it, Frank. Well, I feel a little lucky that it went in, but it was always going to be close. Now to the 374-yard, par 4-6, another scoring opportunity. Yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee, but bunkers left and right to be avoided. That's an absolute beauty. Rich, now's the time to knuckle down. I know things haven't gone right up to this point, but really, this is where you can still get something out of it. Just give yourself that opportunity. You're good enough. Beauty of golf, Frank. One good strike comes off the center of the bat, one good result, and you begin to feel differently about things. Back here at the Open Championship on the seventh hole here at the old course. Yeah, blind tee shot. This is one, uh, one hole that really does advantage the long hitter. Um, they can get it very close to this green, but this green has got some uh, amazing undulations in it. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Frank, this is just an absolute bludgeon right now. An eagle in the lead wide. Frank, now at the par 3 eighth, and how challenging is this hole? Well, it's called short on the, on the scorecard, but um, massive green. The problem here is trying to hit it close. A lot of little subtle breaks and undulations in this green, and often you see long, long birdie putts here. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Locked in on the read and the speed. Setting himself up for a good weekend, the heavy golf instructor makes his birdie. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament. EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present third round coverage of the Open Championship. For a second shot, trying to knock it on the green.
can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Nothing wrong with that part, but Continuing from the oldest championship in the game, it's the Open Championship at the old course at St. Andrews here at the seventh hole now, Frank. Yeah, you try and hit your tee shot over a, a little uh, stone there. It's called the March Stone. That's a good line for, like, left of center. And, uh, well, if you can just work it off that, good tee shot. You're only going to have a pitch in here to a, a green that's set up very high. But those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. just requires a little bit of focus. Good putt. Par 3 eighth hole here at the Open Championship. And Frank, why is it so difficult to get the ball close here? Well, there's a the bunker on the left side. There's a little bit of a downslope there. This is the first par three that you'll play, and uh, it's just tough to judge that distance perception. You've really got to be accurate on your yardage here. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. And this would be nice. Two straight birdies. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now. Try to walk away with the par. Putt for par. Needs one. Crank a par here. That's just fun. Always so important to finish your first nine holes on a positive note here at the Open Championship. Yeah, the ninth hole, this is the most extreme part. Furthest away from the clubhouse um, in the middle of the loop here. A good drive, though, that avoids those bunkers has every chance of finding this par four with your tee shot. Just blasted that tee ball, Frank. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This becomes a different kind of battle out there today with these strong, gusty winds. Players will have to think. They'll have to take extra club. And this will not be easy. That's a good shot right there, about 15 feet away, and a good look at birdie. 
This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Can't wait to write those on the card. One below par. Chalk it up. It's a birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. here at the famed par 3 11th at the old course well the most difficult there is only two par threes here at the old course and this one's called high elevated green and you've got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green that's called the strath bunker uh, you really take anything on this green you make a two here you'll make a move on the field In golf, there's nothing quite like the final round of a hotly contested championship, and this one could be a doozy. And there's nothing uh, quite like that leaderboard I'm looking at. 